In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and uh, use the code blocks ID for C programs. Now, for downloading, what you need to do, you need to go to the www.codeblocks.org where you can get the set of files. Now, if you don't know the URL, what you can do, you can just ask Google to find it out for you. So, I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just writing download code blocks to Google and it's giving me the site address. Here it is download binary code blocks or oh, this one www.codeblocks.org slash downloads. I'm clicking on this link. I'll be redirected to the code block site. Here it is. So in order to get the code blocks set of files, you need to click on this download button. Click here. So code blocks is an ID. An ID is a complete environment from within which we can write our code, we can debug our code, we can compile the code, we can execute the code, but it's not a compiler. Yeah, what you need at the end of the day is a compiler in order to compile your code. So uh, along with the code blocks ID, we need to download a suitable compiler. And the good news is that we can find a bundled compiler we, along with this ID here from here in this site. Click on this binaries link under the download and choose Windows. I'm using Windows and if you are using some other operating system, you can choose your option accordingly from these available options. So clicking on Windows redirects me here. So I am going to choose the second option because it's come it's the bundled it's the code blocks with the bundled GCC compiler. So it's the main GW compiler. Main GW is the minimal GCC compiler for Windows. Along with the code blocks I can get it. I can use it within the code blocks. So I'm choosing the sourceforge.net mirror. You can choose Parl US either for getting the code block set of files. I'm clicking on the sourceforge.net for the second option. Remember you are going to get the code blocks with the main GW. So here the download We'll start here it is we it's asking my firefox is asking me to save the file so i'm clicking on this save file i'm giving a suitable location for this so i can give say uh, this shivaji folder for storing this set of file so download has started and it's going to take some time and i have already downloaded it so i'm just not going to download it again i have just shown you how to download it so I have downloaded and installed this setup file here under C software folder. So in order to install this particular code block setup, what you are going to do is as usual, double click on this uh, file and it will ask for your permission to execute. Just click on this run button. So I'm about to click on this run button. I'm clicking the run button and it started. So here it is the setup is loading so it will be installed in a moment so here it is now click on this next button here you need to click on the agreement just click I agree now select click the next button again but but remember one thing this main GW compiler sheet must be selected. Now next button is giving a default path where it's going to be installed. Just keep it as it is as a novice. You just do not need to indulge yourself experimenting on all those issues right now. Just click on install. So it has started. So it's almost done. Okay, here it's complete. Now what I need to do is to click on this yes button. It's asking whether I am ready to run the code block right now. Yes, I am ready to run it right now. And click on this next button here and finish. You are done. So code blocks has started. In my computer, I have successfully installed this particular software. Now I'm going to show you how to write a program, how to compile it and how to execute it in a moment. So here it is. We are ready with this ID. So in order to write in, in order to create a new file for your program, just click on the file menu at the top left corner. And here you find the new option. Choose, I'm sorry, 
choose the file new file and you choose CC++ source code click on go now click on next choose C next now you need to give the file name along with the path you can type it by yourself but it is a better it would be a better option if you could choose it using the save as dialog box just click on this dot 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 again just click on this dot 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 button it's going to give you a save as dialog box from where you can conveniently choose a file path for your file and you can give the file name as well so here i'm choosing this one i'm choosing the c drive and i am having the say i'm choosing this folder test for the c program i already have a file in this folder so i'm giving the name here it's hello.c click on the save button so here is the path where the hello.c is going to be installed going to be uh, created so now click on finish so here is the edi editor in which you are going to write your program so I'm going to write a simple C program the most popular C program now look one thing that's amazing this auto completion feature uh, of code blocks that's going to help you in a great deal with a great deal now as soon as you are typing INC it's giving you the options with I and INC uh, available under this ID so just click just just press enter and the selected option is going to be typed automatically that's amazing huh? again it's giving you stdio.h just press enter you are done now just go on typing i'm writing the most popular c program of the world that's obviously as you guess hello world so i'm done with my program now what I'm going to do is to compile this. I'm going to compile it. So uh, let me make some error. I'm deliberately making one error just to show you how you can get the error list. So now in order to compile, just go to build and click on compile current file. It's going to compile. Now in order to, so here is the error. So you get an error here. The red line, the red mark here on the sideline is saying that you have a fault in your program in order to get the details of the fault click on view logs or just f2 is fine so here is the error expected semicolon before return so what you need to do is to correct you the error here we have corrected it i am clicking on save and then i am going for the compilation again compile current file so it's done now zero error zero warning so I'm done with the compilation. Now what I need to do is to run. Just click on build run or you can just click this toolbar shortcut. That's going to run your program. So we did it. That's the way with which you can just compile your program and run from within this code blocks ID. Now I will be I will be I will be developing one more tutorial just to show you how to open a file existing file how to mm, do some other stuff with this ID that's the second tutorial now for up to this point it's okay bye